this week's video. And it seems like I was literally just here because last week I made not one, not two, but three videos in three days, which actually killed me. I mean, who needs sleep anyway? Today, I'm going to be reacting to my show jumping fails again, because I will literally never run out of fails to react to, you guys, okay? Never mind a YouTube series, I have enough fails to make a TV series, a spin-off, a couple of films. So it is time for reacting to my show jumping fails too. So I mean, we're just we're just gonna get straight into it today. Kate, of course, rides the dog. Kate, of course, rides the dog. <laughs> so you guys, this was in the summer of 2015, in my last year on ponies. So I'm not even exaggerating at this point. I was desperately, desperately trying to qualify Hoys. And this was the pony show jumper, the class, the Hoyes qualifying class. And it was about 135, I think. Yeah, 135, the pony show jumpers. So big track. <laughs> but we've been so close so many times. So I was feeling that like this was the day. He'd been jumping insane this week. And I'd walked the course about six times, so I was I was feeling pretty good about it. <laughs> Now if you guys have watched my Meet the Horses video, you'll know that I mentioned Nero had some problems with combinations. So, and this was his worst possible combination coming up, I remember this. So, across the little water thing, down to the combination, which I really held him to. Oh, really struggling. Oh! Oh my god, you can see him like tucking up. Oh, steady Nero. <laughs> Well, good. Open water. Oh. Ooh. That one hit hard. So I feel like this video needs some context behind it, okay? Because I was raging at these people that were in the audience, okay? So, basically, Nero was about eighth to go in this class, okay? And the first seven before him had all been clear and all had a foot in the water, which is basically like knocking a pole, if, if you guys don't know what that means. So like the open water that he just jumped in that clip, if you have a foot in it, you land in it or anything, then that's four faults, so you're not clear. Nero always clears the open waters, always. That was the one fence in the entire course that was like, 100%, he has got this, he will fly it. He gets to the open water, bearing in mind he's just got through the combination and I'm like, oh my god, this is it, he just jumped through a combination. <laughs> and then we got to the open water and of course Nero flew it. So landed at the other side and the audience started clapping. Thanks guys, you nearly killed me. For those of you who don't know Nero very well, he likes to celebrate at the end of his rounds. And what better way than to tell Nero, well done, you did a good round, than for the entire audience to start clapping him. Thanks guys. So Nero just took off down the field like, yay, I've done it, yay, I'm clear, I won. And then I started like holding him, but it was too late and he just slipped because it's on grass and he just went straight through the double. Yeah, that was that was gutting. Okay, that was so gutting. So let's let's uh, in case you missed it, let's have a look at that action action replay. Over the upright, come into the oxer. Three from home. Gonna be clear. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Is the last, which is this massive oxer, cleared it by miles. I got a great picture over there, and yeah, it's all well and good clapping now, isn't it? Bit late for that. Gutted, it was devastating. Nearly 10 hours we traveled for that, and they ruined it. I am 90% sure he'd have been clearing that if it wasn't for them. People, so let's have a look at the next video. <laughs> oh, if this is what I think it is. <laughs> So this wasn't actually at a show. This was after we'd had Ziggy for about, a whoa, what just happened? Wait, hang on a sec. What just happened there? <laughs> I nearly hit 
the deck of the second fence. <laughs> but yeah, we had Ziggy for about a week at this point, so he wasn't insured or anything. We hadn't sorted anything out. He was really unplanned with Ziggy. We hadn't like really been to try him that much or do any. Oh. Basically, we loaded him and Nero up and we were going to Port Royal for some training. Ziggy was being really well behaved on the lorry. So I got Nero out first and trained him because Nero was like my priority coming into summer. I wanted him good. I wanted him to qualify for Hoys. <laughs> we got Nero out. He trained. He was great. Ziggy just stood perfectly on the box the whole time. And we had the box like turns facing Nero jumping so he could see and he was super happy. It was all well and good. But his previous owners had sort of mentioned to us that he occasionally jumps off the bottom of the ramp when you get him off the lorry. So I was like, right, let's be extra safe here, Dad. You hold Nero at the bottom. I'll get Ziggy off. That way, if Ziggy jumps off, he doesn't like spook Nero because Nero is tied up on the side of the lorry and I didn't want him to like freak out and break the thing and run away. I was stood with Nero. I got Ziggy. I opened the partition, walked him top of the ramp, leapt off dragged me we both went flying he landed he cleared the entire ramp i'm not joking my feet did not touch the ramp Z me and ziggy both cleared the ramp by miles <laughs> okay a really stony car park and he was just bolting across the car park and i just hear my dad go let him go let him go and i'm like he'll run off he'll run off the premises he'll run off the showground and dad was like no he won't he won't let him go ziggy went straight up the driveway never to be seen again <laughs> so dad runs after him sprints after him i like hobble back to the lorry and get nero and load him in the lorry because i just wanted him safe in the lorry so i could go and help find ziggy i just assumed that ziggy would have just crossed over it's basically port royal is like there's the road and then there's the entrance so i figured ziggy would have just run like to the other side of this quiet road and like been on the verge eating grass or something run to the top of the driveway literally nothing there is no one around he is nowhere to be seen there's no hoof prints on the ground or on the grass or anywhere he's literally he's gone <laughs> he'd vanish i ring my dad after about half an hour 35 minutes and i finally get through to him and he's like i've just got him and i'm on my way home and i'm like well where are you and he's like two and a half miles away from the venue. Ziggy ran for two and a half miles and they eventually caught him in someone's like little nicely mown garden and stuff. Basically my dad had been picked up by the post lady who was like he went that way and she gave him a lift and they followed him at like 15 miles an hour behind him while he was like bolting down the street. Um yeah they eventually caught him but I got this phone call off dad and I was like, oh my God, I've only had him a week. He's, you know, he's bolted away. He's gonna be absolutely knackered. He's, he's gonna, his career will be over. He's gonna come back with some like career ending injury. And Ziggy, I see them just turn down the driveway and he hasn't even broken his sweat and he is sound as a pound. And I'm like, okay, well, better get on. So we got on and that happened. <laughs> Let's rewatch that. Okay, coming to the fence. Really deep shot. He full on twisted in the air. <laughs> Can we just have a replay of that? Look at that. Oh my god. How did I even stay on that? He's like. <laughs> He's twisted and his head's looking out there. How did he not fall on landing? Because, I mean, I mean, that's a good picture though. That's going on Instagram later. <laughs> Okay, what do we have next? Oh, it's Harry! Oh, Harry baby! Oh, it's a little smack on the butt. <laughs> oh, I know which video this is. <laughs> look at Harry, I'm like, Harry, let's go have a look at the water. She's like, nah, I don't, I don't think so, nah. <laughs> I couldn't get her within a million miles of that water, okay? I'm like, go and have a look, Harry. Go, darling. And then you see me look back at the time and I'm like, oh, God, I better just get started. 
But I couldn't even get her past it. That was the closest I got her and I was like, this is an acceptable reaction. She's looking at it. It's time to go. <laughs> this was a while ago. I think she must have been about five here because she's not, she's still got a load of filling out to do. She's way more filled out now than she was here. And it just did the force it just took to like get her moving towards scary fillers and stuff. Like I think she's about five here. Coming to the third fence. Oh, bit of a long one, Kate. Well done. Right. Here we go. Here is the line of doom. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Did I just turn into like some like demon or something? Did you guys hear me? <laughs> I was like. Okay, and we went to the office to enter so I walk into the office and the first thing I see is this friend of mine sat on the floor crying and I'm like oh my god what's wrong and she's like they put a water tray in the British novice and she's covered in sand and literally like there must have been like not joking in this class that Harriet jumped about 10 people fell off 10 people at that water tray because not only was it, it was like on a long distance as well, like you were miles away from it. It was under an upright and stuck out of both sides of the upright. It was terrifying and Harry had never jumped a water tray like that in her life. Like she jumped, I think like one dull water tray at Port Royal once. So I was terrified, but I knew that if I didn't get over it the first time, I wasn't gonna get over it at all. So I think that's where my inner demon came from. <laughs> Let's hope we don't see her again in any of the other fails. What do we have next? I don't remember this. <laughs> I wonder if this is a fail. I don't remember it. Oh no, wait. I'm wearing my old show jacket. I think this was Burry Farm 2017, the same show as the Bear Bike Challenge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Are you gonna start anytime soon, Kate? You're just having a little, having a mosey round? Here we go. Come on, Needs! What a tune. I might have to like mute this, put some other music over it in case it gets copyrighted. let's go against the clock and practice like hell this was the meter five I think either the meter or the meter five I can't remember to be fair so if you guys look at the point just before I got decked right so fence three my aim here which was insane and I have no idea why I was gonna do this at all was to literally get quite deep to three so that he landed a bit short and then turn inside that peacock fence you can see behind it it, it didn't pan out. I literally buried Nero to it. He was like, oh, I don't think so. Okay, now I've added this video in because it's not really, it's not a fail as such. Like we actually won this class, but I just want to emphasize how bad a certain element of this round was. <laughs> so this was Evie and this was our first ever show and she'd already decked me once in the warm up by just jumping the warm up fence and then putting her head down. This was the jump off suicide okay all right <laughs> she was on fire evie is literally the fastest horse i've ever ridden in my life to be fair but this was our first show so i had zero control anyway <laughs> back to the double oh two fences to go where's she gonna go where's the next fence kate tried that like was that a genuine turn nobody else did that turn in the class i just just want to say that all right what was that turn i'm not even looking at the fence now i look at the fence and i'm already like 
Uh, how did he even know how to jump? How did she know how to jump that? That was so tight. Uh, I gen and I, yeah, give her a pat. God, she deserves it. She saved your ass there. Uh, no wonder no one could catch us. They would have died. I nearly died. How did we not die? So you guys, that has been reacting to my show jumping fails too. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it was highly requested since I made the first one during Vlogmas, but if you want me to make any more, literally not emphasizing when I say I have enough to make a TV series, a spin-off, and a couple of films. <laughs> so if you would like me to make another reacting to my show jumping fails in the future, don't forget to leave a comment below and make sure you leave a comment as to what you want to see next. Um, I am making quite a few videos that you guys are recommending in the next couple of weeks and yeah I really hope you're enjoying this I'm really trying to keep on top of YouTube now I really want to post two videos a week I'm gonna be posting a vlog on Tuesday so don't forget about that don't miss that um, this week I think it's gonna be kind of a mixed vlog because I've taken quite a few vlogs over the last few weeks but none of them are 100% finished so I thought I would join them all into one big vlog and just put the best content from all those vlogs in it um, so I hope you enjoyed that that will be coming on Tuesday don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to be notified every time I make a new video don't forget you can ring that little grey bell as well you can also follow me on my other social medias I will link my Instagram below which is the main social media platform I use other than YouTube until next week you guys I love you all very much and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!